hello guys and welcome back to my channel this is a very serious like i'm very very serious right now it's a very serious topic that just hit me real hard and as a Sierra Leonean, i would first of all first and foremost like to say like i'm sorry on behalf of my country i want to extend my sympathy to the people of korea and the family of this man that committed suicide whilst working and investing in Sierra Leone Yes, a Korean man by the name of, um, the article was kind of long, so I just break it down into tiny bit pieces and I'm going to just read through and brief you guys a little bit about this topic. So, a man by the name of uh, Mr. Kim Song Neon, I don't know how to pronounce his name, sorry, has been living in Sierra Leone for over 30 years and working with the MFMR, the Ministry of uh, fisheries and, ma and marine resources. This man has been living in this county for 30 years. First thing first, I don't know why this mis this injustice happens to him. He said he started experiencing this one and a half years back. He lost everything to the point that he could no longer take it. He has to end his life and then he left a two piece information. And explain the reasons as to why he committed suicide and took his life. This happened, the letter was signed on the 2nd of July this month, which is around the last week, not that even far away. So, apparently, this man has been in Sierra Leone. I don't know why ministers, this government, they think it's okay to benefit themselves while the rest. Of Sierra Leone, the rest of the, the rest of Sierra Leoneans suffer. Why am I saying the rest of the Sierra Leoneans are going to suffer? Yes, because this man, he might, he, he, he would have chose to invest in so many other countries, but he chose to invest in Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone is a country that does not have that much. We have natural resources like gold, diamond, boxer, and root type. Obviously, yes. But those natural resources, those minerals, they reflect nothing on the country's economy. The country is surviving mostly by businesses that are being established by foreigners. Yes, we have the Koreans, we have the Chinese, we have the Indians, we have the Lebanese, you name them. We have even Nigerians, like other African countries, we have Nigerians also that have shops that are investing in Sierra Leone and by that way they are creating employment for the Sierra Leone that, that cannot meet with the government job requirements because having a government job is not an easy thing we have graduates that are leaving the university millions every year every academic year thousands of students are graduating from various universities across the country but none of them can meet with the requirement to get a job they are just there some will start to do business some will go and start working for these foreigners by that way the foreigners are helping the country's economy to grow and they are helping to increase the livelihood of the lay Sierra Leone that, that can't find themselves a job after spending millions and their time and energy in ascertaining university bachelors and diplomas so these investors are coming into our country to better our economy and help us but since this new government the s the sierra leone people's party leader which is madabio which is the current president of sierra leone and his team ever since they resumed power i think it's 2018 the elections was around 2017 2018 that was when all the cuscas was started but they become effectively in 2018 since they resume office, investors have been going away from this county, thereby causing the country's economy to fall to a very low, low, in a very bad state that it has never happened for over years, for even decades. The dollar rate has increased tremendously, dangerously. Hundred dollars in Sierra Leone is around one million Sierra Leone leons. That is to tell you how the economy, the country's economy is falling. Investors are leaving the country because the taxes being imposed upon them is crazy and ridiculous. 
it's outrageous i don't know what makes them feel that as if it's okay because of their selfish needs to gain all the money what they want for themselves to deprive the rest of the fellow civilians that can't afford a government working job or work at the bank in any other institution Sierra Leone is a predominated like it's let me say it's ninety percent business country because the offices are not that lucrative. Ever since this government take office, everything has been going on bad, and then people are not free to talk because they are afraid that they are going to be squeezed, that life is going to be squeezed out of them because they speak the truth and say their peace. They want to capture freedom of speech. They want to cancel the internet. They want to close down social media platforms so they can misuse and abuse and oppress the Sigalonians that can't speak just because they think it's okay for them to go ahead and do what they want to do. In the case of Mr. Kim, no, I can't call him man Mr. by his first name. I think his last name is Neyoni, but I'm just going to say Kim, yeah? Let's just bring it like that. This man has been living in Kent. It's a part of uh, a, a part of uh, the country. It's a very beautiful environment, though. They have the beautiful beach. I think after Kent Beach, we have Bowie Beach, and Lomley Beach is also very beautiful. So these beaches are there, and this man is living in around those Kent, that Kent environment. I've been living in the country for thirty years. He has been doing businesses. He has employed. Note that. He has employed Sierra Leoneans, hereby providing source of livelihood for people that is not even related to because he's Korean. He can choose to come to Sierra Leone and bring a lot of his fellow Koreans and employ them. But he has employed Sierra Leoneans. He has been helping people in villages, helping the, the country's economy. He has been doing well. But for the past one and a half years, this ministry... You know, when the, when the SFP come to, to office, they change everything, thinking that they are the smartest, they are going to start everything fresh. But what they fail to realize is that in the process of getting themselves rich, they are going to shrink the country's economy. And they are going to chase away for, good foreign investors. By chasing away investors in any African, undeveloped African countries, they, they are going to shrink the country's economy because these people will be afraid. In the man's note, he said, don't, is telling the world not to invest in Sierra Leone because there's nothing like justice there. He's telling the world that the country, the ministers, the government, they are selfish whilst the country is suffering. He has a one case that, that ripped my heart apart. There was a case where he said his ship was seized for nine good months. And he was fined and he was asked to pay the sum of 4.2 million United States dollars. When in reality, the items, that ship and the goods inside, they cost 200,000 United States dollars. How crazy is this? As if that was not enough, they give him an, an addition after four months, additional fee of 1.5 million United States dollars for his ship to touch like the IEZ line 12 miles from shore. When he went to the minister the, and his deputy, the director and his deputy plus the secretary to tell them to work on this IEZ stuff that they have going on and the GPS, they laughed at him. And they went ahead to tell him that with money, something that is good or that is making sense can be bad. And something that is bad can be good with money. Meaning, they don't care about what is happening in the county. They don't care about the man's predicament and the suffering. They are, they are very evil. You know, sometimes I think about Africa and I think about the, those days that our great-grandfathers and our forefathers used to use black magic instead of praying to God and going to the hospitals for, for cure. Sometimes I just picture in my crime mind that sometimes this kind of people, these, these ministers and stuff, they need to be treated 
the African way. You know, how can you, in this state that the world is in right now, with COVID-19 shutting down millions, even if not billions of businesses, putting the world on standstill, no one is allowed to travel from here to there. Then someone, a foreigner, a lot of people have went back to their counties to be closer to their family and their loved ones in these hard times that the world is going through together. But this man is in New York County, he's investing, he's helping Sierra Leoneans, he created job opportunities, he's paying workers. Despite the COVID-19 crisis hit, he did not run away, he stayed there. And all you guys can do is take the living daylight out of this man, squeeze him to the point that he said, I lost everything. He has no other option than to take his life. This sometimes when you start you like you start talking about stuff like this, they want to put it in that political aspect. Or oh, maybe she's supporting the APC party. I said it in my video countless times. Oh yes, I did. Yes, I am a supporter of the AP All People's Congress Party. And yes, I was also a supporter of the Sierra Leone People's Party once upon a time in my life. But I don't go with the colors. I don't go with the party. I go with development and good stuff. And that has been demonstrated by the APC. So why the heck will I switch over for some party that has done absolutely nothing? Instead of oppressing Sierra Leoneans, chasing away investors, and cost this man's life. You might think this man is dead and God no, but along this man, there are thousands of workers that died with him. There are thousands of homes that died with him. A generation died with him. He was not in a good place. He was suffering. He went for help, and all you could do is laugh. This laughing aspect of the whole uh, uh, phrase of this uh, write-up, it hits me so bad because I felt it. I've been to hospital in France here. Once upon a time, my daughter was not feeling too fine, so I was taken to the e e emergency department for cure. And I was talking to these nurses. If you're in France, you're a foreigner, you might have experienced this as well. When you go to France hospitals, like especially the emergency, or you're trying to communicate with the sectors to get them to understand what you're trying to say, you will meet some that are amazing. That even if they're not understanding the way you're pronouncing the French language, they will get their phones out and ask you which language you're comfortable speaking. Then they will translate and get to know what you actually want and why you are at the hospital. But you have some that will sit there and be laughing at you as if you are crazy. That thought alone is very sad to understand what led to this man's suicide. When you are trying to explain yourself, trying to get help and trying to get people to understand the point where you are coming from, Instead of them to adhere to what you are saying, they are making mockery of your intelligence and telling you to your face that what they care about is the money and not what they are trying to talk about. They don't even consider the civilians that are going to lose their job right now. In fact, they, they don't even, even as of now, they don't even care. The, ministry, this, the government and its team, blah, 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 they released a press release. Writing and they send their condolences, they are going to investigate the matter, blah blah blah. But I know they are not going to do that. What they have done is shrink the country's economy. Not sorry, not only for now, but even in the long run. Who will want to come and invest in a county where they will charge you to pay more than your entire business puts together? 
who want to come to a county to invest where there is no justice. There is no compassion, there is no love, there is no care. The ministries, the government just cared about enriching themselves. That's all. You guys think you are cool. I wonder how we are going to sleep now. All the ministers, the director, all the government officials that this man have set a meeting with to explain his predicament and what his business is suffering from. How are you guys feeling right now? Can you even be able to sleep? If you can sleep peacefully, you are evil. You are very, very evil and bad. You are like, you are, you are, you are despicable. You are a horrible and terrible person. Like, you should not be on planet Earth. You should be cast away to a dungeon. A bunker where you can live and suffer till you meet your death. That is where people like this, they belong. Sometimes I will just sit in my crazy mind and I will be thinking, all these African leaders that are shrinking the life out of people, I will just imagine building a bunker. You know a bunker is a place where they build like underneath the ground. Where there is no, not much light. It's like a very dark place. Build one bunker room like that. And just put them there and close the door. With no light. Not f no food. If they can get food, one meal per day. No, the water they, can, they are going to drink will be a very dirty and unprocessed water that most of the fellow, the citizens in your country are having because they can't afford to drink good and clean water because you guys are failing to do that this is the theory that i have in my mind that if i'm in that position which i have the, if i have that power to treat african leaders i'll build them a bunkers somewhere around the desert and stop them all up lock the door and throw the key into the sea how can you be this mean how can you charge someone more than what they are going to even make from the entire business how can you sleep at night knowing full, fully well that you are destroying the life and livelihood of other people? But you guys don't care. For you, it's all about you. You are getting the money, your job is going fine, you are sending your kids overseas, and you are spending millions on your numerous girlfriends that you have at, at the back of your wife. You think life is good. The fire, eh? That will roast you guys in hell. The thunder that will strike you one day is still is still at the gym. This is so 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 sad. I felt so bad. How can a man kill himself in my county? Out of injustice, lack of knowledge from people that call themselves ministers investors are living you know there was once upon a time that adebayo made a video an audio i can't remember exactly the time and date but he had made a video about that water key and now they are taxing people so high that if they can't be able to clear their their containers from sea then the ministry and its team they will just auction that person's goods I feel so bad because I'm living here now. I see every day how Africans living here are going from one place to another, one brokers to another, buying goods, buying clothes, buying old chairs, old sheets and stuff, pack them in a container and send them to Sierra Leone to be able to sell and create money and livelihood. Because the jobs here, you will spend all that money in paying taxes. You have to pay your rent, you have to pay your light, you have to pay so many bills. So these other businesses they are doing is creating, you know, that balanced finance for them and their families. And then this county and its team feel it's okay to shrink these people's life out of them. What are you going to do now? Mr. Kim is gone. Are you guys happy? Like really, how do you sleep at night? 
how do you stand in front of the mirror and look at yourself that okay this man come to me for help and i was unable to help him and now he's dead he killed himself because he lost everything he has worked for the past 30 years living in Sierra Leone and helping multiple if not thousands or billions of Sierra Leoneans to get their lives together how do you look at yourself in the mirror like seriously how do you see yourself like are you happy with your looks when you look at, look at yourself in the mirror are you truly happy it's it's sickening it's crazy i feel i felt so bad i hate the rate of suicide even overseas when i watch videos on tiktok or on instagram on facebook watch so many articles when i see people like okay this person commits suicide i feel so bad in my mind i'll just be like what did he want what happened for someone to take their life it means they have been to a point where they feel like they can't come back from this Imagine working for 30 years in a foreign county and then you lose everything within one year and a half. You will feel like the world, the world is over. There is nothing left for me to do. I live in this country for 30 years. I've helped these people. I've provided so many things. But look at how they treated me. They put me out of business. They make me lose everything. He could no longer take it. The only option he has was suicide. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry to his family, his friends, everyone that has been in contact with him, every Korean woman abroad. Like, I'm, I'm really sorry for your loss. I don't like stuff like this. This is sometimes I say, I... Sometimes I get more messages on my Instagram to cover more topics about my country. Not even from Sierra Leone, from foreigners that I said, I love the content you do on your country. It's good to see a lot of people like coming out and talking about the things that are going on, going on not only portraying the good stuff. This is, a, this, is, this is why I opened my YouTube channel. Because you can see the world is full of so many fake people right now. People are suffering and, and they are pretending as if they are happy and smiling. I don't know why they do that. People are seeing something that is white and they are calling it black because of money. If there is a last thing that I want in my life is integrity and respect. And I'm not going to trade that for anything. No amount of money can make me do that. If the APC end up to come back to office, in 2023 and they do something nasty i'll be the first one to call them out i made a video the last time about anis by Koroma when sylvia bladen was saying he needs to step down as the chairman of the all people's congress and i was kind of like looking to it and i, and I made a video and said i think i touched that video sierra leone tea with mom or stuff like that with, with maria mine i think it's all my sierra leone and african politics content that i have that playlist I said to myself, yeah, something is like right because this man is just sitting there and keeping quiet. We'll just be the American election right now where we see how Obama, the Obamas were support supporting Biden and our opposition in Sierra Leone and his back home is just being silenced and not doing or saying anything like the opposition should do. So if they come to power and do something bad to us, I'll be the first one to call them out. I don't joke with my integrity. I have so much respect. I have so much pride for myself. Sometimes I, I'm even afraid of myself. Like my standards in life are very high. I'm not going to stoop that low for anything. I can't be bought. Because why I'm saying this right now at the ending of this video, I've got, when I, when I, whenever I do a Sierra Leone video attacking the government and what they are not doing right, I have so many comments, people talking about I'm being paid money to say these things by the APC. I have someone even saying maybe I'm one of the kids that Anes Baikuma had, which is one of his numerous girlfriends. And I was like, huh? what? I don't even look like this man. Like, what is wrong with people? Like, what is wrong with people? You think everybody can be bought? 
So, guys, this is what happened in Sierra Leone. Not only for Mr. King. It's rather unfortunate that he could not be able to just like forget everything and go back to his county or try to start all over again. He has to take his life. I'm really, very sorry for that. But not only Mr. Kim, thousands of other investors are also leaving Sierra Leone. They are going away because of the outrageous taxes and the mistreatment and the injustice they have been faced with while investing in Sierra Leone. That is why right now the country is so poor that if you call a family member, even a friend, to just say hi on the phone, they will think you have called them to give them money. They will start telling you all their problems that they have from the head to the toe. How they have not eaten for 10 days. The country is so hard that there are no jobs. Investors are closing their businesses and going back to their country or going to another country to invest because the country, the taxes, everything is outrageous. And one question that always pops into my big head is where are all these taxes going to? Overseas, we know that taxes are used in terms of development. Yeah. We love it. We have light 24 7. We have water. So even if you are paying bills, in the month or when you are working they'll cut that 10 or 15 percent for taxes yeah it's worth it because you see what they're using the taxes for but in Sierra Leone, i'm saying in my mind what are they using these taxes for like where is the money going to like where exactly are they using these taxes for they're just putting people out of businesses to enrich their selfish desires and then make the, the less you are living that are depending on these people to go away. Many investors have stopped investing and doing business with Sierra Leone because of the success. This man just committed suicide in this month of July. Millions of families are going to get affected. I said something about it in my previous video about Sierra Leone. I can't remember the topic exactly, but I talk about it. Sierra Leone is a country where we, if one person is working in a family, that person is responsible for like thousands of mouths to feed. Overseas, yeah, it's cool. You are working and taking care of your kids and your family, that's it. You're not responsible for any other thing. Yeah, yeah they don't even buy gifts and they give it unless it's Christmas. But in Sierra Leone, if one person is working, oh my goodness. The rest of the entire the rest of the extended families, their kids, their grandkids, their generation, their village, their village people, all of them will bring their problems to your doorstep. It's it's insane, but that is it. That is the reality of Sierra Leone. So if 10, 30, or 40, I guess the number was around 40 or 400 or 4,000 people are were working for this man. Each one of them have like another 5, 10, or 50 or 100 people that are depending on him because of his job. So just imagine how many lives are going to be affected by this man's death. How is the country going to move forward? Which other Korean will feel like it's okay to go and invest in the same country where their brother committed suicide because of the injustice he was faced with? Even if not being Korean, which other investor? from any other country who think it's okay. Where, where people are seeing on the internet stuff are going on about the injustice, the outrageous taxes. This year, the government of Sierra Leone, you guys need to stop it. Don't be too selfish that you forget what you are actually there for. You are there to help and protect and provide for the late Sierra Leoneans, not to be there and make yourself become rich. You have done that for this past one and a half years going to tweet that you are doing that when are you going to start working for the people of Sierra Leone? when are you going to start manifesting your manifesto and the things you promised the country they have traveled for over 10 times they have spent over thousands of dollars in traveling like they are just there like they're just wasting the country's money and shrinking the lights out of people not everyone can have like okay i'm eating off i'm going to end my life like mr kim did but some people are like you know when when there is an english phrase oh my god shadow of themselves yeah some might not commit suicide but they are like shadows of themselves right now like they are just there but they are not actually there 
you can see someone walking by on, on the street you're talking to that person that person might not even be able to you can have a conversation with someone sometimes i have something like that oh this step will keep falling down let me just hold it like this sometimes it happens to me like that <laughs> don't come here to sing <laughs> Sometimes things like that happen to me. I can be so lost in thought that someone will be talking to me, looking at me in the eyes, I'll be looking at that person in the eyes, then I will not get a thing that person is saying to me. When I'm like in my feelings, like when I'm in that place of lust and darkness. So I just I I just picture how Sierra Unions are living right now. Like really how like how are you guys doing? This is a question here and i really love to see responses on my comment box in underneath this video like how are you guys doing how are you guys coping how are you guys holding up because this is crazy this man just ended his life just like that oh my goodness anyways i don't want to bore you guys it's it's like it's like my mind is going into that dark cloudy place again where i will just be looking at the camera and not know what i'm saying so i'm going to pause this video for here if you're watching my video for the first time my name is mariama you can follow me on instagram twitter and pinterest at mams 193 and you can follow me on my facebook page mams wall e-commerce and um leave a, a hat a love heart for Mr. Kim in the comments box for him and his family and everyone that is affected by them just drop your heart drop it let's it's hard that is that is very bad I don't like I don't even like thinking about it it's hard and for someone to have the mind to take his or her life it means they were at the place where it was shattered. His note is right up said, I've lost everything. I've lost everything. May gentle so rest in peace and I'll see you all on my next video. Stay blessed and be safe. And please, don't scare yourself. Find someone to talk to. Everything will be okay. And for the ministers and the directors that laugh at this man and refuse to render him up, may sadness be your portion.